Um, raise your hand if you read that article that was published on June 9th, 2023 in the uh, journal Science, just six months ago, on taurine. I mean, it, 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 it changed my life. <laughs> so taurine is a semi-essential amino acid, meaning your liver can synthesize it, but much of the taurine we get is from eating animal products. Taurine is stored in the brain, primarily the pineal gland, uh, and the retina, and skeletal muscle, and heart muscle. But again, most of the taurine we get is uh, in, in eating meat and seafood. Now, interestingly, you know, taurine has anti-inflammatory properties, antioxidant properties, anti-cancer properties, but it's also a GABA agonist. So it's calming. As a matter of fact, you may know that commonly in energy drinks, we will see taurine. So a lot of people think it, it revs you up, but it, it has nothing, it's nothing like caffeine or guarana or ginseng. It's actually calming. But the reason it's given is because there are studies show, showing that it increases mitochondrial production of ATP. That's the reason for taurine. So interestingly, it's highly concentrated in the pineal gland and comprises 30% of the free amino acids in the adult gland. And there's a daily rhythm to pineal taurine. Interesting. So, but the rhythm is really opposite of melatonin. So taurine levels are, are at a low at the beginning of the dark period, and they peak during the middle of the day. And here is something very interesting. Taurine can interact with the pineal beta adrenergic receptors to stimulate melatonin production. So this is the article that I was just referring to that came out on June 9th, 2023, taurine deficiency as a driver of aging. Now we know in all animals, taurine decreases as we age. By the time you're 70, you've got about 20% of the stores of taurine that you had uh, when you were in your 20s. And so what these investigators did is they took middle-aged mice and they gave them a gram per kilo of taurine per day. And um, the median lifespan of the, these treated mice increased by 10 to 12%, and the life expectancy at 28 months increased up to 25%. And every measure of aging and looking at all their organ systems, they all got younger. Now, taurine reduced cellular senescence. It protected the telomeres, uh, it, it induced telomerase activity and protected the telomeres. It suppressed mitochondrial dysfunction it decreased DNA mutations, and it was anti-inflammatory. Um, and, and certainly we've seen in other studies, people with many chronic illnesses have low concentrations of taurine and the taurine metabolites. Interestingly, exercise increases the production of taurine, endogenous taurine. And that may be one of the reasons that exercise helps your health and lifespan. So um, what I, uh, okay, so uh, let me back up a second. So what I did, June 9th is when the article came out. And on June 10th, I purchased 1,000 milligram capsules of taurine. And I took three in the morning, three in the afternoon, and four in the evening. I took 10 a day. And in about three weeks, I felt like Superman. I slept better. My energy throughout the day was amazing. I just felt on. I went to the gym, I couldn't get tired. But then at the three month mark, I ran into a problem. I started getting diarrhea within 30 minutes of taking taurine. So I, I ended up backing down to six grams a day. Now, I, I feel good. You could probably tell that, but I'm not Superman. So I'm gonna kind of inch my way back up again and uh, go down when I need to. So why did I choose 10 grams? The reason I chose 10 grams a day as the max is because I searched the literature and I found the largest dose that humans have taken for a prolonged period of time was 10 grams a day. So I put other patients on this with all kinds of diseases, including cancer, because it has anti-cancer properties, and some amazing things. I actually treated a, a lady, um, she's 82, and 
10 years ago, she had metastatic MMMT uh, uterine cancer, very aggressive uterine cancer. And we ended up doing all kinds of crazy things, including immunotherapy and intratumoral immunotherapy. And she's cured. She just, nine weeks ago, she had her 10 year anniversary, which is great. But we did cause her some autoimmune issues and fatigue was terrible. So this lady, um, she loved to play tennis. She used to play every day. But at about 80, she had to stop. She basically sits on the couch. She's just got no energy. I started her on 10 grams of taurine. And a month later, I get an email saying, it's a miracle. It's just a miracle. I'm playing tennis every day and all my fatigue is gone. But then three months later, she started getting diarrhea. So she also is going up and down. I, uh, I have many other case reports, but I think taurine is very, very exciting. Um, uh, I, you know, I would like to see more data. I don't know that we're going to see any large randomized um, clinical trials of significance, again, because of lack of IP. But I think it's, it is very exciting. <laughs>